Table group one, please. Both hands, careful walk, taking them out of the cart. Perfect, good job. Good job, sweetheart. It's been fun to step into classrooms. It's really neat to have this career shift where now the past couple years we've just been immersed in classrooms. Yeah, yeah, you have you have that volcanic rock which is igneous, right? Well, th we're going to start learning about that today. And I can't I can't even tell you how every single teacher I work with Rocky girl. Woo! I just feel like, wow. I just I just found like my best friend. Oh, hi. hi. They really have such a special talent. <laughs> and they're giving such a special service to society. Three, two, one! Three, two, one! Out of the park! So it's our pleasure to work as hard as we can to give them the very best. What are you guys finding out about your dirty fossils? I don't think my dirty fossils come on. Okay, so try this. Submerge it in the water and scrub it underwater. And you might have a lot of that dirt just move off. And that's just, that's the goal of STEM taught. If there is something wonderful out there, we want that teacher to have it. And we want her to have a lot of it. Look at this cool surface. It almost looks like the surface of another planet. So if there's an amazing building lab, these kids, are, their brains are just kind of exploding as they build with these barbs and straws and they can really create some neat structures quickly. And all the teacher gets to do is just wander around and compliment the kids and take little photos of them because there's time for her to just enjoy watching her class create. We do our collaborative conversation so that we can watch the building shake and we can clap the beat that we need for our earthquake. So you guys are all going to sit down on the floor. We really try to focus on not driving the teachers crazy by bringing in really messy materials. We keep our labs full of wonder without a lot of messy things that we see in some programs. So that helps the teacher. Every class is like a science experiment for us. Every lab we bring, I mean, we could have taught it 10 times and we still learn something when we go teach that lab again. Okay, now this looks like mitochondria. The tools you bring. Oh, that looks really good. Because with this, you can punch stuff in to make it look frilly. And we alter and tweak the online material so that it can really be the best training for the teachers. Carefully carry those back. You're going to touch the back of your spoon. The best little movies for the classrooms. and the best, you know, hands-on experiences that are out there. I can see the oh, movement. There, there, you saw one hand? Yeah. Yeah. Like people attaching yeah. the end. Did you see the little thing that was, there was like something on the side that looked like it was kind of happening. Isn't that cool how they're Really? Sometimes you can see the egg, and then you see the little head start to poke out and wiggle. Yeah, there's like a little line. Oh my gosh, it looks like a hair. ton. I have a lot. It's neat to see that these great educators can have supplies equal to what you know, what they deserve in their classrooms. Look at it, it looks like it's oh, punching yeah. things. Yeah. Is this? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh